Now we are going to see about the nitrogen cycle. The nitrogen is generally in atmosphere that is called atmospheric nitrogen. The nitrogen is getting from three stages. The first one is blue green algae in the world seas and oceans which is depicted over here and then the plant and animal get the nitrogen as proteins and then the dead organisms and phases are created and finally it lasts to marine sediment. The second stage from the plants the nitrogen fixing bacteria so that we can get soil nitrate. The third stage is by lightning we can get soil nitrate. Here you can see the small cycle that is by the soil nitrate the nitrate is taken up by plants and then plant and animals that is as proteins and then data organisms and phases and then nitrifying bacteria it is also go to soil nitrate so here the recycle process is taken over and finally the soil nitrate is goes to dentrifying bacteria in boggy soil and this is goes to atmospheric nitrogen. These cycles are called the nitrogen cycle. The nitrogen cycle, it is all organisms need, need nitrogen to live. It is the most abundant gas in the atmosphere about 80%. Nitrogen gas is unusable for plants, but it must be fixed or changed into nitrate or nitrite formed by bacteria in the soil. It is known as, as nitrogen fixation. You can see the nitrogen formation and plants, nitrogen gas is over here. Now let us talk about phosphorus cycle. Phosphorus is important in the production of DNA and RNA. You can see the DNA over here. Unlike water, oxygen and nitrogen, phosphorus is not found in the atmosphere. It is found in rocks and minerals. The rocks and minerals is depicted over here. Now let's see about the phosphorus cycle. Here you can see the volcano. From the volcano, the aerosol is emitted. Followed by aerosol, it is deposited in terrestrial and food webs. From this, the aerosol is dissolved in soils and streams and lakes. Here you can see the small cycle over here. And then, it is sedimented in ocean sediments. And again, it goes to rocks. And is also dissolved in soil. Here you can see the second small cycles. These are called the phosphorus cycle. Now we are going to discuss about biomass. The total mass of organic matter at each tropic level is called biomass. You can see the biomass over here. A biomass is just another term for potential energy that means the energy that is to be eaten or used. The transfer of energy from one level to another is very inefficient that is from one level to another the energy is 10 percentage low you can see it over here. Thank you for watching from GTEC.